What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the gaming community? It's your boy, Centurion1307, finally getting a chance to give you some more content. I'm pretty sure you already know that there's going to be a big event on July 23rd coming from Xbox and its first party studios. But did you know this event is actually taking place during a week long event that is going from the 21st to the 27th and a good portion of it is going to be on your Xbox One. For the first time ever, Xbox is wanting to be the company that not only gives you a visual of next generation but also lets you have a small taste. Normally to get these experiences you would have to go to the worldwide gaming events that take place throughout the year. But we all know that's not going to happen this year, so Microsoft wants to be the first company to deliver this experience to you in your living room, or your bedroom, or maybe even your bathroom. Whatever you're into, wherever you could stuff an Xbox, you will be able to be part of this event. There is going to be 60 available demos on the Xbox Store that people will be able to try out for only a one week period of time. Yes, they're going to be free, that's why it's a demo. That being said, Microsoft warns that some of these games are in such an early stage of development that they might look a little rough, or even play a little rougher. But Microsoft wants people to be excited for the future and to understand that all of its studios are currently working on the next generation of games. Also keep in mind though that these games are going to change over the years as the game is being developed more and they might not even look the same the next time you see them on store shelves. All these demos will be removed from the Microsoft Xbox Store after July 27th, never to be seen again. There is a possibility some of these demos might pop back up, but that is totally on the discretion of the developer. Xbox stated, as we get closer to July 21st, they will release a list of all 60 games that will be part of this demo event. Just in case though you find nothing interesting during this demo event, Microsoft has an event for you on July 23rd. Before we talk about this event as a safety precaution, please put on your floating devices as there is a deep amount of rumors and myths circulating around about this event. Yes, more than likely Halo Infinite is going to be at this event and it's going to be a showstopper. They're probably going to dedicate a significant amount of time to the game and its new slip space game engine. Me and a couple others though are starting to hold the theory that Microsoft is probably going to hold the deep deep dive into Halo Infinite until an inside Xbox later in August. It's also starting to come out in rumor that Microsoft does not plan to reveal the Lockhart or the Series S until August as well. If these two August rumors hold up, it sounds like the July 23rd event is going to be stacked with games, games, games. And we're not just talking Gears, Forza, Halo as a lot of people would say. There has been a lot of grumblings on social media as of recently with a couple Twitter accounts. Two accounts appeared on Twitter, one of them being one you'll never see coming because it's the worst best kept secret in gaming, the Fable game. If by some chance you haven't clicked off the video at the mention of this, please I'm rolling my eyes too, I have high hopes that this game does exist. But recently some high profile gaming media individuals have come out and stated that they know that this game exists. Another account that popped up though was the Perfect Dark game, and a developer tried to horribly play off that it was a fan account, but we all knew it was a developer created account. Hopefully by some chance, Fable and Perfect Dark don't go into the great halls of games that could be right next to Splinter Cell and Knights of the Old Republic. But by any matter, I am excited to see what the Xbox Game Studios have been cooking up for us. It's rumored that big studios like Ninja Theory, Obsidian, Playground Games, and more are all ready to show us what they've been working on. And maybe, just maybe, Ubisoft will be there to show us an actual Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer that doesn't look all screwed and chopped. Seriously, I'm sorry to say it, but every time this game has been shown in the past, it looks like hell, and I think it's being done deliberately. I believe Microsoft is just not ready to show off the true visual fidelity of the Xbox Series X. For crying out loud, this game is being advertised in the trailer for games that are optimized for the Series X. This means the true visual image of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be some gorgeous eye-melting candy. 
There is one big myth though that is surrounding this event and I mean this myth is overshadowing everything about this event and it comes to what studio Microsoft is potentially going to say that they bought. It started with rumors about Microsoft looking at acquiring a Polish game developer and instantly everyone started throwing around CD Projekt Red. In reality, it looks like it's probably going to be a smaller studio and a lot of rumors are pointing to it being Farm 51. The big mic drop what if moment is all circulating around the recently put up for sale WB Games. Yes, the Xbox fan inside me would be absolutely excited if they purchased these studios. The down to earth person inside me tells me that a lot of these big game franchises that come with these studios also have a lot of stipulations, red tape and paperwork associated with them. It doesn't help just days after WB Games was announced for sale that head of Xbox Phil Spencer came out and announced that they had no plans in holding back on more studio acquisitions in the future. Now numerous websites have written articles on how Microsoft is not only interested in but is going to buy WB Games. But Xbox insiders like Tim Dog and Clobriel have both come out and stated that you should probably slow your roll in thinking that this is going to happen. Even if Microsoft was to purchase WB Games, it would be so soon that there is no way that this would be signed, sealed and delivered by July 23rd. It must be said though that AT&T, the company that currently owns WB Games, is holding an investors meeting on the same day that Microsoft is having the stage event, July 23rd. Well, here we are friends once again at the end of another video and I appreciate you for taking the time and tuning in. I hope I have helped get your endorphins going through all the excitement on what is about to be shown to us on July 23rd and all the great games we're going to be able to play between July 21st and July 27th. Please leave me a comment down below on what you're excited for or what you think just might be at this July 23rd event. Be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and if you want to follow me be sure to check me out on Twitter, Xbox Live and numerous podcasts throughout the week. Till we meet again my fellow gaming community remember be positive, be safe and be sure to game united. Thanks for watching.